Okay, so next up, Job Broker. What does Arcana use? Just uses a pickaxe. And what do I want the new girl to specialize in? Heck, if I know. I'll specialize them later. Nice part is, it's pretty easy to just kind of... Chuck stats in. I could put them into other skills, but I'm I'm figuring movement speed and carry weight with minimal penalties seems considerably more useful than most other stats. She looked a lot prettier in the recruitment picture. I think we got the wrong dwarf. Not that it matters. Okay. Next up, Crazy Project. We're going on a journey. My thoughts are, we need mountain lore. Going down could work, but I'm not sure where the most dangerous bits are. Bits and or beasts. And so what I'm going to do instead is dig tunnels in either, direc either direction. And we'll find and fight whatever is there. Uh, let's see, did I build this? Kind of. Let's see. Bloody trails done. Turn that in. Okay. Go back out here. Wow, Seaborg's leveled up a lot. Can't do that one. So, oh yeah, we did take this one. So we're actually getting closer to winning. There's a lot here, but every single time we attack one of these locations, we actually keep it for the group. I'm sure it'll get more expensive at a later date, but useful all the same. I appreciate that there's kind of a win condition here. Many of these games always feel kind of aimless to me. And so by including a, a full-on proper win condition... Okay. I'm gonna set this chest to only have mushroom stew. Where the heck is... The heck is beer? Or is beer just held in the tavern? I don't know. We got plenty. Looks like it's water that we actually need more of. Flower water. Well, in that case... Actually, sure. I think we might have capped out, capped out in this direction. Unless. Okay, let's cancel that. an awkward setup, but if it works, it works. We have too many mushrooms. 
We have, like, actually too many mu mushrooms. What does mushrooms do require? Just mushrooms. Everything requires mushrooms. I think we're going to need the better, better larder. Okay, Seaborg, you need deafness. Because you are a... you are a slow bones. Yeah, does the medical building need a floor? It does, I think. There we go. We have an omen of great war. And I think they're attacking me again. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Requires a pickaxe and some hardtack. Suddenly, I actually have to start trying harder. Dang. What is this? Oh, just food. Okay, so we can deliver a couple of these. So let's start making the axe heads. couple of those slabs. Okay, so what do I need for heart attack? Flour and water. So we're going to need more more water. Cancel both of those. Okay. It looks like they can get over here. This is dumb beyond reasoning, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. Cave farm? Cave farm. <coughs> so I'm just gonna slap that down there. Just get some crushed granite. Uh, let's see. Yeah, our mountain lore is atrocious. really don't need that much mount mu ah, mountain paste, mushroom paste. We're just going to do three more, put a chest in. I wonder what the lamps do. Oh, requires fuel though. Nope, these dwarves live in the dark. Okay. So unfortunately, Project Explore in a Direction for a while. It's hitting some snags. Namely, I can't tell them to go in a direction for very long. Can he get back? No, he can't. He is quite stranded. Found a sacred well, though. Required resources. Supply. 75 supply. Okay, that's cool. Doubt have them go this way? As we'll give them some maybe not so needed mining EXP. Okay, hopefully that has enough. Gosh, the amount of beer and other things that are just on the ground. I'm not gonna say it's insulting, but it's a lot. <laughs> Let's see, where do we where do we want to go with this? 
was gonna put scaffold stairs around everywhere. Actually, turn those in. Everything is good. We've completed that vi that fight. Ah, <sighs> other option. We also just continue the staircase down into oblivion. Man, mountain lore is hard to come by. Cause I really don't want to do land surveys. I could. Okay, so that'll, that'll get us some more water. I guess we needed some other stuff. Okay, uh... You're easy. You're easy. We're actually getting really close to this one. I'm gonna have to make a bunch of swords, but... Like, I might be able to win by pressing this whole hard tax sword business. I'll pick up the quest and we'll slowly fill it in. Apparently I already have swords. Oh. I guess I earned a fair bit of these. Shoot. I think these are better. Let's pause. 38, 13, 9. Uh. Gun. Nope. Gun V. What do you got equipped? What is your. What is your tool? There it is. 51. It's okay. I bet. I bet we can actually get better as soon as we get iron. And I bet we're actually really close to iron. We're not. I'm just gonna... Oh, we can't even make swords anyway. So what does any of this matter? Then again, also, none of my dwarves are really getting it. They're not getting into any fights. That's an easy one. Okay, I'm gonna tell somebody to go mine in that direction. Uh, let's see. This is... It's slow. Shoot, we're gonna need a lot of water. Hey, but there's enough there's enough wheat. Okay, so now we've got a whole boatload of hardtack. And we've got that. So let's go back here. How much inventory space? I got a lot of maps. Do I do it? Yeah. You know what? Let's just do land surveys. We need the manual research. And while I can explore and hopefully find the stuff. It's gonna take take forever. And I'd like to have it sooner. If all it would require is if I could actually plot, like, mining locations. in the darkness, and it would just kind of fill it out. So if I want to just dig in a direction, it would just go until it hits some kind of problem, and then it stops. Ah, oh, alas. Okay, speaking of some kind of problem, this is different. Uh, you know what? We're just going to go back to this, and then dig over instead of trying to build down. 
Because eventually I'm going to replace, and this might involve tearing up almost all of my industrial stuff. I guess that wouldn't be so bad. Hey, that's a bunch of mountain lore. That's good. Alright, so let's get advanced casting, and... I'm going to go adequate trade records. We're going to leave the other ones. Namely, I need better storage. Cancel this. I think what I'm gonna do. Rooms. We're gonna get big storage here. And if that's going to bonk. Oh, no, that ain't gonna work. Cancel that one. We want to move it over by one. It's a bit ugly. But it... You know what? Whatever. Eventually, I will get a proper sense of how tall everything has to be. Really, you want to build your base based on whatever your largest things are, or just put all, all of your smallest form factor structures in kind of the same general area. Oh shoot, we're finally out of copper... copper ingots. Okay, so let's see, do we have any other easy quests? Easy peasy. That gets me some wood. Meat. Bandages. And that stuff. Okay. And pretty soon I'll be able to make s swords so we can start going on on the offensive. I might want to hold off on that. I bet the difficulty goes up based on... Uh, I, I bet the difficulty increases based on how much we've conquered. Let's see, be careful when you're making beams. Ooh, that's a good point. Okay, is this done? No. So we can turn in a couple of these. So we're going to need axe heads and we're going to need ingots. I was wondering how you how we were supposed to switch materials around. That makes sense. Hey, we're on the offensive. Hey, it's easy. Okay, we are gonna need some more hard tack though. What are we doing on bread. Oh gosh, I think I might need to make a bunch of the... Let's see. I have to make a bunch of that stuff. Do we have enough of these? I guess I have to make more. It might just be low. Dwarf with no dwelling. Wait, what? Ah, oh, shoot. Seaborg. There's your bed. Whoops. Wow, she levels fast. Okay. 
Okay, so Seaborg is actually a really good farmer. Eh. Oh, stranded dwarves. Oh. How the hell did he get over here? What did you do? Unfortunately, there's no way to set a priority on a task, so I just have to wait. Well, luckily, Gerand is perfectly happy, so he'll just stand there like a moron. For a while, until somebody remembers that he exists. Hey, here's the storage. How much space do you have? Not enough. Okay, plant. I'll set it so this thing also stores mushrooms. I like the idea of the storage, but like it really needs stacks. That's the big problem. Well, it is okay. So, what? What? Why? It's like Gunvi wants to die. Wait, this is Gunvi this time. It's like they traded positions there. All right. We do have a relic statue, though. Brave Poppy. Should pr probably remember that with her, too. Just collect a ton of it. Because there's no downside to just over-depleting these things. They just come back over time. Okay, we won the victory. Everything is good. Destroy slime. Destroy things. Discover God of the Forge. Well, that's a solid four later situation. I mean, we'll find it eventually. Cancel that one specifically. Because I might as well just continue going down. Oh, hey, speaking of, we've got another thing with sacred water in it. What does sacred water do? I don't know, but we're going to have a lot of it. Maybe I can just sell it. Oh, now they're all stranded. Uh, Seaboard. Seaborg, you moron. It was just one rock. Ugh. I wonder if I can sell these. Not really. Like, I can sell it. But it's not actually worth much. Okay. One way or another, my mountain lore is looking a lot better. Can I make... We can make whitesmithing, which gets me a lot of the good stuff. Machinery, which gets me an elevator. So that's what we want to work for. Established Authority Great Hall. Trade wooden recipes. Better food. Oh, but we should do we should do blade forging. 
Cog port and transmission would be lovely. Though, I think a number of these are straight up going to require me to go on distant adventures. So it seems like poppies and sacred water impre impart preciousness on whatever they're applied to. That makes sense. I've actually got a decent amount of mountain lore still. We're still a little bit off of machinery, but it's not too bad. We can also look into weaving. Maybe I should do that. I'm going to look into weaving real quick. Thoughts are, that's one of the last major production rooms that we even need to put down. And so getting this done would actually help me a fair bit. Okay, what else do we do? Nobody's stuck, right? Good. Oh, there's actually like a bad rat hanging out there. I've never played Bad Rats. I don't really have a whole lot of inclination, personally. Ooh, what the hell? It's a goblin. This is good. Let's just go down and say hi. Because I got plenty of healing items sitting around, so none of my guys are actually in any dire straits. The one other thing I gotta keep an eye on is still don't have a whole lot of money. I should probably make stuff to sell. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize we had another fight so soon. Okay, so they're still using outdated equipment. So I'm gonna need... Two of that. I've still got 72 copper ore. So let's just make all of it. Okay, and I'm gonna need a pickaxe. I think I just need one. And then I'm going to need five axe hits. There we go. And then we'll get to making swords. Should probably find some more iron, though. Well, speaking of iron, here's some. I'm going to build these up here and mine. I think that's copper. That's coal. That's some iron. Whoa, hi. I do really appreciate that my dwarves will just range out and explore as far as they can. It's a little un... Uh, uh, it's a little upsetting when they range out so far that they get stuck, but that's a separate thing. Okay, we might actually need those lanterns. This place is getting just a smidge dark for me. I'm gonna need actual lanterns for this. I don't really know what I expected. Okay, so I guess let's go back up here and make about ten lanterns. That should be good. We're only going to need so much anyway. Uh, 
Got some more granite chunks, because I think we're out. No, we're not. The hell is... Oh! It's a killer plant. Let somebody go fight that. I think my dwar dwarves shouldn't have too much, too many troubles. Yep. Killed it in a jiffy. Hey. That's quick. So we're going to need fall docks exports. We're going to need some more stone. And then still working on swords. Oh. Jackpot mine. Spoils of the mountain. I feel like this is going to solve my problems. Okay, that's good. So, whatever spoils of the mountains are... Coal, ruby, ooh. Okay, so that actually helps a lot. Now we've got infinite fuel-ish. How's this going? Really? I need more lanterns. Well, sure, I guess I'll just make a bunch. Okay, how much copper ore do we have? Maybe not limitless. Maybe it does actually track all this stuff. That I've got just sitting around in my immediate environment. Or maybe it only tracks the stuff that I actually have stored. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, while we're here, back up to this. Gonna need some more blocks of granite. Let's see. Anything else I can immediately work on? Oh, you're out of tasks. Sweet. Not any more you want, but you. And I'll give her to the extra bone stuff. We don't need it. And yeah, none of my guys are starving. Everything seems pretty comfortable. we need is lumber. Oh. Lumber is different from wood. I mean, go figure. How do I make lumber? I don't see it as something that I can craft. I think. Yep, yeah, it might just be a trade good. I just haven't seen it go by. Or maybe we're just out of Vindari lumber. That honestly might just be the case. Well, we can get at least a little bit more here. Uh, let's see. Blacksmith. Hatchet head. Stop using my iron. You fool. And you know what? Rooms. Let's get another room. At this point, we can afford another dwarf. Okay, so this will get us, yeah, five to ten lumber. There we go. Actually, it doesn't look like the lanterns consume any fuel. Maybe? So I guess I should be slightly more aggressive with them. Ooh, that builds up supply very slowly. 
I guess that's... I, I don't know. I guess that's kind of okay. What else do we have? Omens of War! Well, am I winning? Endless Dunes. Uh-oh. I might not actually be able to defend that one. I need uh, big gears. And we haven't gotten enough hide yet. Oh, beaver hide. I mean, leather. No, so I should be able to make this stuff. The hauler sack absolutely will be worthwhile. But I think we want to set up so we get land surveys instead. Because we're pretty close to Cogborn transmission. There it is. Oh, no, 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 no. We need... It needs to be machinery. Which is more expensive. Okay. So in that case, I gotta go down. do this one. Because this creepy chamber looks interesting. And I want to see what's inside of it. The hell is that? A sapphire crab. Okay, let's let's just get. Oh boy, that really pushed up my mining lore. And this has got iron. Hell yeah. Okay. So in that case, we can get machinery, which gets me machine parts, which means hopefully I can just make them. He no. Oh, are they made here? Yes, machine parts. Looks like you can only make them out of iron. You're right, I have run out of money. Oh. Rubies ain't worth biscuits. Apparently all these lanterns that I made are actually worth, like, a decent chunk of dosh. Well, that's an, this is an easy decision made. We'll want to look into whitesmithing. I'm noticing this game is starting to get kind of chuggy. It's, de it's definitely lagging. Now that we're at this point. Which, I mean, honestly, I've been doing this for what? Two hours? A little over two hours? For an early access town uh, colony management game, that's not half bad. I was expecting a lot worse. Okay, no. We want to go to the overworld. I might just be able to do this fast enough. Let's see. They want axe handles... Doing those. I might I might be able to win. Oh, infrastructure. So elevator rail. I I think I might build the elevator over here. Maybe. I'd like to use it as the central ramp, but oh well. Oh, it requires sheet metal. Oh! And I can use copper for this. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna need fuel, but I should have some. Oof. That frame rate has uh, problems. Alright. Completes, completes, completes. So we're gonna need five axe heads. Five of this stuff. The main thing is impending attack. We did we not make enough? There we go. So far, so good. We win the battle, everything is good. I do kind of wish they would remove some of this stuff from here. Oh, never mind, actually. It's got crazy, crazy storage. So actually, who cares? Also, I have a ton of bacon. Just quick thing. Algae pa pancakes. We've definitely got that. And we should have enough... We should have some crab. It would be nice if some stuff would stack too. I I agree. I feel like uh, the higher the quality of the chest, the better. Okay, good. We do have a bunch of mushrooms to sitting around. So, for example, I've got a stone chest here, but if I could make stone, copper, silver, gold, or something like that, and the higher higher the tier of the chest, the more it can store, uh, in terms of, like, stacking, would make a massive difference here. Uh, let's see. Almost get that one. Probably look into whitesmithing at some point, but later... These guys just been eating the algae they've been sending at me. <laughs> I think they have been. Unless this one require it. That's easy. Okay. Let's do... Let's turn in the bacon. We've got plenty. And I'm not using it. Okay, now I just need to make a pickaxe. We're very, very quickly actually running out of copper. I knew this was kind of predicted. Except for we're not out of copper. There's so much. I just have to convince them to haul it back. Oh... Okay. Maybe we do tear up this. The small smithy and this cave farm and this small quarry. Yeah, cog drill. I don't even know what half this stuff does. Yeah, turn this entire area into just a giant horrid elevator shaft. That's not a bad idea. Alright, let's, uh... Keep getting more of that. I'm 100% gonna run out of copper eventually. There's some over here. I... I'm torn. Do we actually try to win here? Because we've got him on the ropes. Like, the Dread... The Dread Horde is not having a good time.
The only problem is, I'm not sure if this game will survive long enough to actually make it there. Oh, let's stop with the par parchment. Oh, that'll need a clasp and some kind of fabric. Because, I guess from my perspective, if I... If I go for the gold now, I mean... I guess mainly I'm just not sure what's going to change, and I'm noticing it's having some major slowdowns. Let's see if I can actually change the... quality here. Nope. So yeah, it's just gonna slowly slow down until it's actually just full chug. Let's see, can, he, can they get to that? They kinda can. These, these dwarves can actually jump shockingly far. extend that over. Might as well have a big area. You saw a use low texture? Oh, there we go. That didn't help. I, I think this might actually be more of a, a CPU or even a memory leak issue. Because yeah, these guys were moving fairly smoothly originally. And maybe it's just the fact that I'm on fat... Nope. It might honestly actually be the foundry. I don't know. It also wants me to find the fiery underworld. Let's just, uh... Let's just do a couple of these things. So... I'll start the elevator shaft over here. So we've got elevator platform. Transport dwarves and goods between two elevator stations connected by lines of elevator rail. Elevator station. Okay. So it's a bit wider than the staircase, tragically. And ne next time I play this, we're 100% leaving room. For everything. Um, I guess next question. Oh. Tear down that building. How big is the full smithy? I, it, it is actually freezing when I'm selecting this now. I don't think I don't think we're gonna make it to the end here. Shit, I don't think we're gonna make it past this moment. Yep. Nope. That's that's it. The game is uh is actual Dunsky for me. Normally this would be some cause for concern. And to some degree, I think it still is, because this game will be out in about a week. From what I do know, there is going to be a day one patch uh, when it actually comes out, and hopefully that'll fix some of these issues. Uh, but on one hand, the, these performance problems, like, absolutely need to be smoothed out. On the other hand, it's early access, and I've already had my fun. Anything past this point is just gravy, pretty much. And... Honestly, like, I, I think my o, o and I comparison is about on the, as about on the nose as it could possibly be. It's got the same tunneling and delving and designing a workable base that doesn't take too long to traverse, but it actually has goals that are much more functional. Uh, specifically, the overworld kind of campaign mode. That's really cool to me, and it. 
means it's going to be more of kind of a, a quick play kind of game. As opposed to RimWorld or O&I, where you go for months, potentially. And so yeah, having that win condition is nice, because it means I can just play this game and then be done with it. And so what I'm probably going to do is stop here, mainly because the game is non-functional. I straight up cannot move any further. Uh, so I'm going to have to Alt F4 out. Like, even pressing Escape does nothing. Uh, but I'm going to leave it here for now, and then we'll be back to this eventually when it's closer to completion. Like, actual completion. <laughs>